show you this really easy recipe for um, cauliflower korma. So I've got a whole cauliflower here and basically I am going to trim the leaves off. Just give it a good trim and we're going to get rid of those, we're not going to use them. Once we've trimmed the cauliflower, we're going to um, cut the cauliflower into florets. Um, so that we can do this by breaking it up. Now, I'm using cauliflower. You could use chicken. Um, I'm doing a vegetarian option. So this is really, really nutritious and healthy for you. So I'm putting my broken up cauliflower straight into a bowl. And what I'm going to do is, I am going to mix some turmeric and some salt with it and oil. So you want them around this size, you don't want them too big, you want to cook, cook them quite evenly. So cut all those up, and this doesn't take long at all. So all of that goes into a bowl. And what we're going to do is, we're going to take one teaspoon of turmeric and that is going to go straight into the um, cauliflower if I show you here. So we're going to sprinkle it straight in. A good amount of salt to bring out the flavour and we want one tablespoon of oil and that is going to go over your cauliflower and all I'm going to do is give the bowl a shake to make sure everything's covered evenly get a baking tray Flour that looks like that in the oven and I'm going to roast that for 15 to 20 minutes until it's golden brown. So we're going to mix up our spices for this and we are going to take one teaspoon of turmeric along with two teaspoons of cumin seeds two teaspoons of coriander seeds or you can use ground coriander, whatever you have and I'm going to put in four cloves and these look like this. So that's all going to go in to my pestle and I'm going to grind them up until they're quite fine. So my spices are looking quite fine now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them straight over to the cooker and I have a tablespoon of oil heating here and I'm going to tip my spices straight into the oil and I'm going to cook that for maybe a minute. You can see it sizzling a wee bit and you're just going to cook that until you can really smell the spices so you're releasing the fragrance of the spices when we are doing this. Okay. Into that I'm going to add a finely chopped onion, um, half a teaspoon of chilli flakes, two garlic cloves and what else have I got there? Um, a small piece of grated ginger. So that is going to go into my pan and I'm going to cook that over a low heat for a couple of minutes until it is softened and slightly golden in colour. I've taken the cauliflower out of the oven and it's nice and golden brown and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it into my pan with my onions and spices 
the, the onion soften down now. So I'm going to add that straight in. Then I'm going to add 250 mils of vegetable stock. Straight in. And we're going to simmer this over a low heat. And the secret to thickening a korma, we're going to add in two tablespoons of ground almonds. Excellent. So give that a wee stir. I'm going to put the lid on. And again, you would do the same, exactly the same, if you were using chicken. Just replace the cauliflower with chicken. And I would use maybe a 500 gram pack to serve four people. So I'm going to put the lid on. And that is going to simmer for about 10 minutes. Some water boiling. I'm going to add rice and um, two lime halves. I like adding lime to my rice. It adds a wee bit of extra flavour. And I'm going to season that really well. And we're going to cook that for 10 minutes to serve with our cauliflower korma. So our korma is nice and reduced. And you can see that the sauce has thickened. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add four tablespoons of natural yogurt, or you can use Greek yogurt. Two, three, four, and we're going to stir that through. I'm also going to add in some finely chopped coriander. It's about a tablespoon of chopped coriander and there we are, lovely cauliflower korma looking good. Nice and I'm going to serve that with our boiled rice. So we're going to serve up and I've got a nice bed of rice and put your lovely korma and what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve mine with some lime pickle and mango chutney.